here. 5 and 0 with a 180. Here he goes. Off we go with a fastball upstairs. Ball one on Brandon Nimmo. 1 6 straight. NL best 35 and 17. Nimmo pops this one up. Lux is out. Betts is on. One away. Mookie calls off Gavin Lux and Mookie is their first in average their first in on base and they've been doing the quote unquote it's, it's cliche but the little things like move completely about the details three time manager of the year he waits every who comes in riding a six game hitting streak there's the curveball that he doesn't get the call on from CB Buckner in the wind I think you lick <laughs> your fingertip put it up yeah there's a strike three and one. Out the walks have really been down the last three outings. High fastball is popped high in the air for Cody Bellinger in center field. A couple fly outs, two away. Yeah, walks were a bit of an issue last year in the first month this year, but his last three starts, Skiorme, who makes a start at shortstop today for Lindor, and it's a first pitch curveball for a strike. He, of course, has gone up with that. Around 16 pitches an inning, which sounds like a lot. 13, it would be sincerely dominant. On the ground is second. Gavin Lux, one, two, three. Go the Mets on 10 pitches. So Tony Gonsolin has the Dodgers off against Tony Gonsolin. Went one, two, three in the first on 10 pitches. Started him with a curveball, one and zero. Oh. And then if you can clip the outside corner coming back, they're kind of feeling for it right there. It's absolutely perfect to get them out. Coming in with the fastball here and missed up. It doesn't mean you're not going to pitch him in. Gonsolin to Alonzo with a 2 1 pitch off the end of the bat. 2 and 2. Bats finishing with that slider this year. Here's 2 2. That was another and foul. It's like his third choice from Will Smith. And a miss badly. Count goes full. Let's do for me. Let's see. Payoff. It was a splitter to get him. Like it. I think he's the one guy in their life. He loves him some jumbo jacks. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Nasty first pitch splitter. He'll top five in the league hitting 318, which has been a resurgence for him. He was now 51. So it has been a bounce back year for a 1810s concept. Choked up about four inches on that bat, which is definitely going to give you the top of the bat a lot more control. The farther you choke up, the, the lighter the bat, as you can see. He's on with a walk. First base runner of the game for New York. Fastball is by him. Strike one. That's a swinging bunt. Smith thought about second, takes the sure thing at first. And a scoring position goes McNeil, two gone. And it's always kind of been that way for Gonsolin. It's just two chest. It's gotten brighter, brighter as far as living in the strike zone. Fly ball, no big deal in right center field for Cody Bellinger. And despite the one out walk, another zero put up by Tony Gonsolin. By the Yankees today and have lost eight straight now. Mm. JD Davis leads off this third and takes a ball from Tony Gons. Took a perfect game into the eighth inning against the Angels. Angels actually scored in the eighth and took a one row in early May. They won 13 of their next 15. Two balls, one strike on Davis. They come off a dominant road trip and you think, okay, they're starting off with Pittsburgh. Let's really just continue the year. <laughs> yeah, they sure did. Will Smith was saying before the game today is it's fouled off his foot. I think they were just lovely. Julio or Walker didn't have their best outings or it was the bullpen. Some base running, some fielding. Got him with a slider. Second K for Gonsolin. One gone in the third. The slider was very firm and a great course. His ninth game of the year tonight. A little bit high, ball one. 
Uh, Mets starting catcher James McCann is on the injured list, and so Mazika has been splitting time with Tomas Nito, who La Bencho. <laughs> that curve finds it one on one. All that. Gonsolin deals. Mazika watches the split fade away. I guess load manage now in the NHL. Is this the part where it's been maybe your ear or your own mind? No, that just came to me. That was God put that there. Liner to second, caught by Lux. Do with him through his career staying in the field. He's played 100 games just one time. It was. In Fouls this one into the glove quickly, 0 and 2. Kinetic. As far as how it infiltrates the team. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Nasty Catman. Starling Marte leads off against Tony Gonsolin. Has gone first pitch curve to a bunch of people and gotten squeezed multiple. Not getting the call. Three and zero. Oh. Taken all the way in your balls. In the left, on comes Taylor. Trying to pick it off, but couldn't quite get it. And it's a leadoff hit for Starling Marte. First hit of the game for the Mets. Luis Guillorme started the season one for 14. Since shaving his beard. 2 0. Oh. You keep it up in New York, you're going to have a commercial. Second hitter that Gonson's fallen behind 3 0. Oh. There's a strike. And pitch one was borderline, didn't get the call. Pitch four right there does get the call at the top of the strike zone. That is right. He wants to attack. Dior made a right center field. That is going to drop. And yeah, give the Mets officially their first hit of the game. If they move from Barcelona, Spain, and settled right in Queens. Swing and a miss on a first pitch splitter. So that's where. Bouncing ball to short. Could be two. There's one. High throw. Cost them a chance in 25 with men on base. And when they get in the scoring position, 100. 28 year old from Vacaville, California, gets a swing and a miss on a splitter. So he goes. Good equation for a guy who can make it move late. Tony can. Ground ball. Locks charges. Flips underhand and gets him. Mets get their first hit of the game, but don't. Six, seven, and eight for the Mets. This is Mark Canna. Ball one. Yeah, in some ways, has really gone underappreciated. Being a gamer, not just good fortune. And it's getting to be like, wow, really? Like five innings, one run there? Really? It didn't feel like that. But it's starting to feel more like the. No. Fires a two on to Canna. Splitter for a strike, two and two. Lower half and when he had rhythm and when he didn't. And they saw when he had rhythm, he was really good. When he didn't, it was a struggle, but he still got it done. He gets Canada flooded to 15 games. Here he comes to Escobar with a strike on a fastball. Against guy that is homered against him twice. Has an extreme fear of cats. For real. The cat man teammates have given him a hard time about it through the years. This guy's got a home run that haunts me. And he doesn't like cats. <laughs> 
is 2-2. Two -two. He's Sticks with it. Drilled the left center. Bellinger dead sprint. He got there. Such great feel for where he's at. Tamper in the gate. J.D. Davis with two gone. Taps it foul. Different energy to the game. Awkward swing and a miss and a high. Gonsolin looking for a one, two, three, fit. Got to sit Muncy down. It's a long year. Driven to right center. Bellinger put to the test again. This one's over his head. Davis on his way to second with a two out double. And the Mets have their first runner in scoring position tonight. No score in the fifth. Runner at second, two away. Strike one as the splitter comes from nowhere. Now you're in attack mode. Hasn't gotten that call tonight, the high curve. Two and one. On deck, Brandon Nimmo. Ball three. Full count. Gonsolin deals a payoff and strikes him out. On so far and where you're at. Well, we're just past Memorial Day, and these are the top two teams. Man, oh man, he's not getting the call up there. And called strikes. Nemo, 0 for 2. Takes a strike, and it's 1 and 1. Tony Gonsolin has 4K. Nemo at the top of the lineup. Serves one in the left. Taylor's there again. He's scored the game's only run, and he's made a couple nice plays in left. 78 million for the 33 year old. He's gotten off to a good start for him. And what his first swing after returning, he hit a home run. In memory of the lady they called Ponga. So Grandma Ray Starlin and his sisters. Hits this one up the middle. Lux well positioned. Stabs it with a backhand. High throw, but Freeman bails him out. Who takes a strike? Tony Gonsolin throwing his fastball. As you're going to attack. That was a ball. Two balls and two strikes. A year ago, he. 2 2 to Luis Guillorme. Well, outings like this. Strike three called, and Tony Gonsolin goes one, two, three through the top of the map.